Okay, uh, we are going to learn how to create a self-created test and fortunately it's pretty simple because uh, people before us did a lot of the heavy lifting and created templates. So we'll start this out by going to the create new right under the Eisenhower MS uh, sign there and we will go to create new from template and it defaults to the Eisenhower Middle School templates but there is only one template there. We will go to public templates and there are many t public templates. You may want to explore them at a different time. But we will go into self-grading quiz or self-grading test. I think either of these will work. We will click on search templates. And you will see a 20 question test comes up and a 25 question test comes up. Both of these were done by the same person, Suzanne. And down at the bottom is a 10 question self-graded quiz template by done by Stephanie. So there's a three uh, templates. and uh, all three of them are pretty much basically the same. We'll use the 20 question template. We we'll click on that and that will give us our template. What you will want to do is require the sign in to view this form and you will want to also automatically collect the respondent's uh, username and that will verify that who uh, signed in and took the test. So we'll call this a math test and it will be on multiplication and you in here you can uh, put in whatever you want to like answer all questions or if you have any other sort of info you can type that into that box over there um, by default they give us the last name first name and they also give us the period class now you may want to edit period class because that menu has 10 different periods and let's say we only want to test periods 1, 3, 5 and 1, 3 and 5 only so what we'll do is we'll click on the X's and that will delete uh, all of them but periods 1, 3 and 5 and we'll click on done. Now when you're doing a self-graded quiz keep in mind that the computer does not really look at anything but to see does, does look at one thing to see if the answer is an exact match to the question. So uh, therefore I think multiple choice or true and false questions are probably your best bet. And let's start out by doing a multiple choice question. So that would be question one and I'll put a period after that. And that question will be three uh, times three equals and maybe I'll put a question mark there. And so I will make this a multiple choice question and option one will be three and I can hit the tab key move down and option two will be six option three will be nine and option four will be twelve and it is a required question and I'll click on done uh, for the next question we'll make this a true and false a true or false question so we'll make this number two and five oops. 5 times 5 equals 25 and we can use the help test please, help text please answer true or false okay and in order to do a true or false we're going to go back to multiple choice of course and we'll make option 1 true and then option 2 false okay and we will click done and also that's a required question if you want a fill-in question you can do a fill-in question um, and that would be like a text answer so in this case I could just type in 7 times 5 equals and then I could put in help test text that says uh, type numerical answer only and hopefully that won't confuse them and then we'll click on done and now you'll see we have uh, well we have about 17 more questions to go but that would really make this demo a little too long so uh, we have our multiple choice for one uh, true false for two and a fill in the blank for three and those are the three types of questions now you can 
uh, play with your themes if you want to and you can click on theme and select an appropriate theme they do give you a bunch of them I think there's one here yes with a calculator so I can click on that and if you like that uh, we can click on apply and that'll uh, make it just a little more aesthetic and to see what the quiz will look like you click on the link below and also that is the URL of the quiz so you may want to copy that and paste that onto a web page and you'll see it says math test multiplication uh, answer all questions username will be recorded type in your first and last name that sort of verifies that pick your class period one three or five and I'll pick one and then there are your questions and we did the first three questions and you will have to also do the next 20 questions so that's how you set up your self-grading quiz